pest control refused to handle the oddly large hornet's nest in their attic. James was startled when he heard his son Liam screaming. It sounded like Liam was in the attic, and without hesitation, James rushed up the stairs. Nobody had been in the attic for some time, and he was wondering what Liam was doing there. <laughs> Liam was freaking out, and James had never seen his teenage son in this state. He tried to calm his son down, but all Liam did was point at the wall in the attic. When James took a look, he turned pale. He knew he had to call the professionals right away. At the top part of the wall, there was a huge hornet's nest. James had seen a lot of hornet's nests before, but this one was loud. The noise was also strangely different. It was more like a car engine trying to start. He felt scared and got chills all over his body. James knew by the size and looks of it that this hornet's nest is not something normal at all. Liam says they were protecting something inside the giant nest. James tried to move closer, but he was immediately swarmed by a few hornets. The hornets were very aggressive, and James got a couple of stings. The pain was unbearable, and James knew they had to get out of the attic as soon as possible. He led Liam to the door and sealed it shut as quickly as he could. James immediately looked for experts online. He knew he couldn't deal with this huge nest all by himself. He found one in his town and immediately gave them a call. James told them the situation and they assured him that they'd come right away. Soon, Mark from Pest Control arrives. James and Liam warned him that the hornet's nest was really big, but Mark just chuckled and assured them he could handle it on his own. He's done insect control for years and has dealt with hornets a hundred times. Mark could already hear the wasps as he made his way up to the attic. He said they were louder than usual, but assured him that he wasn't scared. He entered the attic with confidence, but it only took him a few minutes to rush out and seal the door behind him. Mark looked terrified. James looked at him and could clearly see that Mark's confidence was completely gone. He actually looked like he was actually afraid. What happened in the attic? Mark then told James that he had never seen a hornet's nest like that, and he's never seen hornets act so aggressively. Mark told James that there was nothing he could do at the moment, and that it was best to wait until winter when the hornets were hibernating. James didn't want to wait until winter, but Mark refused to go back inside the attic. Mark claims that there must be something in the nest because the hornets are only that aggressive when they're being overprotective. James tried paying Mark more money, but it, it was clear that he was too terrified to go back to the attic. Mark left the house, advising that they barricade the entrance to the attic and wait until winter to get rid of the hornet's nest. James felt powerless. If an expert couldn't deal with the problem, his chances of doing it himself were probably pretty low. He did as Mark advised and barricaded the attic to prevent the hornets from getting in the house. But things started to get worse. The noises were very loud, to the point that the entire family was sleeping in the living room because the hornets kept them awake. Didn't take long for a couple of hornets to make their way downstairs. James started to look for other pest control companies, but when they heard that the first expert backed out, they all informed him that it was best to wait until winter since the hornets would be hibernating. James decided to take matters into his own hands. James went to the store and bought the necessary gear he would need to defend himself against the hornets. He made sure to do his research when it came to dealing with them and bought everything he needed. His wife, Emma, didn't want James to go to the attic, but James chose to ignore his wife's pleas to just let the experts handle it in the winter. The hornets were driving him crazy. He told everyone to get out of the house. Once they were all outside, James made his way to the attic and removed the barricade. James went into the attic and took a look around. He found that the hornet's nest had actually increased in size, was about eight times bigger now. James made his way towards the hornet's nest. His plan was simple. Grab the nest and throw it away from the window. But he gets brutally attacked by hundreds of hornets. Despite his protective gear he was wearing, he was still able to feel the painful stings. Feeling helpless, James runs towards the door and gets out of the attic. He ended up falling down the stairs. His head was pounding and his whole body hurt. The last thing James remembers was the worried look on her face. When James woke up, he couldn't remember anything. He felt a sharp pain in his head. It looked like the fall gave him a concussion and some temporary memory loss. When the doctor came by the next day, he told James that he should stay in bed for a couple of days. 
Liam knew James wouldn't be able to go back up into the attic again, but he should try instead. He felt like he was the man of the house now, but if his father couldn't do it, how could he? However, Liam was also getting more curious about what was in the nest. Liam searched online on what to do and he saw a video about beekeepers using smoke to get rid of hornets. He had to keep his plans a secret. He knew his mother would never let him in the attic after what happened to his father. Liam knew he had to act when his mother wasn't home. He waited patiently for the right moment. Finally, his mother left the house to get some groceries. Liam knew this was his window. He puts on his father's protective gear and heads for the stairs. But then his father stopped him. Liam could feel his heart beating loudly at being caught. But then James was smiling. I see you have a smoker, so you must be smarter than I am. He laughed. Liam told him that he could handle this and that he should go back to bed. James looked at his teenager with a mixture of worry and pride. He then told his son to be careful and that he'd stand guard at the bottom of the steps. Liam entered the attic. His heart raced as he saw the hornets flying around the room. As the attic filled with smoke, the hornets started to quiet down. Liam slowly approached the nest, but he couldn't see it clearly through the smoke. He felt for the attic window instead to crack it open. Liam never thought that the hornet's nest could be so beautiful with all its holes and tunnels. He could see the center of the nest, and there were a lot of hornets piled up on each other, concealing what was in the center. The smoke had cleared and the hornets had regained their consciousness. Liam fell to the ground, trying to reach his smoker. He was about to reach for it when he felt a sharp pain in his arm. He got stung. Liam did his best to move fast despite the pain and started smoking the room again. His sight was getting blurry from the smoke, but this time he made sure to finish what he started. He grabbed the hornet's nest with all his might and threw it out the window. Liam called out for his father, telling him he did it. They both ran outside to check the hornet's nest, but what they found in the driveway was more terrifying. Emma was standing there, grocery bags in her hands, and the nest was on her feet. Emma sees Liam and James running out of the house, and then she saw Liam wearing the beekeeper suit. Her face is immediately red with fury. She couldn't believe what Liam and James were up to. She started yelling at them for being so irresponsible. But then Emma stopped talking after she saw something sticking out of the nest. James went closer and pushed some parts of it. He then realized what he was looking at. It was something that he had hidden in the attic when they first moved in. Liam tried to take a closer look, but James pushed him away. He ordered Liam to go inside and take his mom with him. When Liam asked what was wrong, James simply said that he doesn't want them to see it, implying that it was something gross. Liam told his mother that it was suspicious. Emma agreed, and she watched James from the window. She saw James pick up the object inside the nest, and her eyes widened. She was starting to feel mad again. Emma stormed outside once more, demanding an explanation from James. She couldn't believe that her husband would lie to her like this. Liam followed his mother outside, confused. He looked at the object in his father's hand and got more confused. James opened the trunk of the car, got some old towels, and wrapped the object. He then placed the wrapped object in the passenger seat and started to drive away, promising Emma that he would get rid of it for good. As James drove away, he berated himself for being so stupid. Why did he keep this thing even when he knew his wife didn't want it? He took a quick peek at the thing during a red light. It was an old doll that James had inherited from his grandmother's sister. James didn't know his grandmother's sister well, but he kept the doll in case it had sentimental value in the family. When Emma first saw it, she immediately didn't like it. Emma was a bit superstitious and said she senses negative energy around the doll. She told James to throw it away because it'll give him trouble someday. James didn't believe her, so he hid the doll in the attic instead. But now he was thinking that Emma was right after all. He drove to a nearby swamp and threw the doll in the water.